everyone so today we're going to dive into a relatively new pair at least one that was getting a lot of traction on search history so maybe i picked by that for once anyways the maui gym stone shack sunglasses in particular in this colorway the crystal with the ever stunning blue hawaii lenses that never show up on my setup but they're really pretty anyways Get them outside, take a look at them. Anyway, let's have some fun with these. So I had to throw you off a little bit by not wearing them to start with because that gives everything away. This is the Stone Shack by Maui Jim. Really kind of a cool look because it's that classic square frame. I wear a square frame very often so i'm a little biased towards the overall look and style of this one particularly the gray with the matte crystal finish is perfect over here it's a really cool looking frame with a lot of nice detail work to it that i think a lot of people would miss but at this price point you want to start seeing some details come to life these are going to be in the 350 dollars area i say that it's 349 currently on the maui side but who knows where that goes in the future just that very cool classic square silhouette, as I mentioned, which is always going to be nice. Very iconic look. Clean miters over here. You can't really feel the bump of it here where it touches up to the front, which is always nice to see. Uh, generally, the Mauis aren't super clean in this area, so it's really good to see that, in my opinion. The only thing I would have liked to have really seen a little bit different, and I can't really fault it because this is a nice thick hinge, is this a three barrel generally with the thickness we've got to work with here i would like to see that be a five barrel just so it actually has that rigidity to it and a little bit more room to adjust the panto if needed in general in sunglasses you want a little bit more panto but it's already set at about a 12 degree which is good overall weight is nice on these and these do feature the maui stg or super thin glass lenses which are known for incredible optics good uv blocking and just really beautiful optics across the board in particular the blue hawaii because it has a little bit more contrast than some of the others but i will say and i have noticed this across the board the stg blue hawaii does differ from the blue hawaii and the other materials keep an eye out for that these run a little bit darker and have a little bit more of an almost green type hue to them, which we don't see in the others. They run a little bit more warm and a little bit lighter. Yeah. But you do have the nice touch of the two-tone look, and this does appear to be more like a factory laminate where we switch to this more smoked over the ear. Overall fit, feel, finish on these is good. I'd say it's gonna be good for an average size face. It does make a nice touch from here back on me. Again, I don't have a super large or a very petite head, so it works really well on me. The bridge area is good and universal, and I'm actually a little surprised to see this. I have noticed a lot more of the Maui's have kind of a grip pad in the nose pad area, so if you're expecting that on this pair, it's not there, but the material is textured to get this matte finish. So it does seat down really good, has nice grip. I haven't even fitted this frame to me, but it does fit like a glove. It's quite nice. I like it. Ah, very pedestrian with the Maui Gym stuff, mass-produced frames. It's, I have to breathe for a moment and take it all in. The overall construction is very good, though. I'd say at this price point, this one in particular is very nicely made for what you get. There's nothing just dramatic that screams, oh, this is incredible detail work. It's absolutely beautiful. All the colors are matte in this one, which I think does kind of benefit by not having that grip there because all of them are going to be pretty grippy through there. And same back here. There's no kind of friction cuts into the frame. There's no grip material added. And again, we do see that on a lot of the other Maui Gem frames. I say that, and now none of the ones I have in my hand have that. So maybe it's a newer thing. They're getting away from that, designing the frames a little bit differently. So that's not needed any longer. But again, Fits good. In the square frame, generally you do want to see this sit down all the way flush on the bridge. On me, this one doesn't. You know, I could see it doing so for some people. Not for me. Traditionally, you do want to see that fit down flush, but the way it's built up through here, it's just not going to on most people. It kind of gives it the effect of being a keyhole bridge without having those little keyhole points. 
Overall weight is nothing crazy. I'm gonna say this one's mm, around the 30 gram area. Not super lightweight, not super heavy, but a good fit and feel. Proper adjustment on this frame, it's gonna be really good. But overall, it is just this super clean look, right? Don't mind this, I have music in my ear because I gotta jam out with these. So just a good clean silhouette, super classic, a really good staple to have in your collection because I always believe in having a wide collection. And uh, you've gotta have the radical ones, but you've gotta have the beautiful staples in the collection like these in order to do that. So that's my opinion. I like it, I'd grab one. If you're on the fence on one of these, if the fit works out and it should, being an acetate frame is a very versatile, very adjustable, really good fit overall. Nice clean cut. As I mentioned, the miters here are done pretty nicely. It actually does seat up really good in flush there, which I always like to see. That's all I've got on this one. Let me know your thoughts if you own or wear a Stone Shack, what you think about it, what you thought of this review, if it helped you or if it pushed you over the edge to not get one or to get one. Just let me know your thoughts down below. If you're new here, hit that subscription button. Stick around for a while because we got a lot of cool stuff coming. You get to see some really cool frames that you might not get to see anywhere else along with now reviews on the Maui stuff. Apparently that's a thing we're doing now. I'll catch you guys next time.